OK, now over to a man that there is no denying is cool due to his amazing moves in the kitchen. Chef Mark, what are you breaking out today? Well, today we're going Asian, so we're going a nice, beautiful, classic dish from Korea. So we've got spicy Korean chicken, and this is going to give your chicken a massive bang of flavour, and we're using this. It's like a fermented chilli paste, so it's really, it's really simple recipe, but loads and loads of flavour. Uh, and what I like about this recipe as well is normally the Korean chicken is deep fried, but this is not. We're going to marinate it, we're going to griddle it as well, so it's nice and healthy, and then we're going to mellow down all that heat with a nice fresh cucumber salad. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now it's over to Mel. Thank you very much, Ollie. It's great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we're getting spicy this morning. I've not had much Korean cuisine, so I'm really looking forward to this. Is it spicy? Is that how you would define Korean food? Uh, yes, as it says in the title, it's... Um... <laughs> no, I mean, they do like uh, using... <laughs> <laughs> well, this dish is. <laughs> yeah, fair I enough. I mean, you know, it's sort of, it's Asian. Yeah, they do use a lot of spice, um, fresh flavours, right. soy flavours and stuff. Um, but this is what it's all about, or this is what's going to be in the recipe today. So this is this fermented um, chilli paste. Oh, wow. So if you smell that, you've got mm -hmm. like a, a really sort of umami, sort Ooh, of yeah, deep, that's good. deep depth of flavour. And mm. then obviously it's chilli as well. So you've got a nice kick in there as well. Yeah. OK, it's awesome. It's not too spicy. And we're going to be using our Rangatake corn-fed free-range chicken, which yep. is going to make it taste even better. Uh, so let's get going, shall right, we? So first job is we're going to make a marinade. Okay. okay. So obviously this uh, this is the chili. Yeah. So we're gonna pop that in there. Okay. Right, and then we've got. Um, so you, you can just whisk all this together. Okay. All right, and then we've got some uh, rice vinegar. So a little bit of acidity in there. Some soy sauce. Yes. And then we've got a little bit of brown sugar as well. So that'll just balance out the. Um, you know, we're getting this nice sort of sweet and sour and depth of flavours in there. It'll balance out the chili a little bit. It's and then we've got incredible. some honey as well. So that's going to give us a nice sweetness, and it's also going to help the uh, chicken caramelise as well after. Brilliant. Okay, okay nice. So get that in Woo. there. Don't forget, we put the recipes online too, by the way, cafe.co.nz. What is that? And that is a little bit of sesame oil just going in there as well. So cool. that you've got all these sort of classic flavours, and I've got some garlic as well, which I'm just going to smash up. Nice. Chop how was that your, in. How was your holiday, by the way? Oh, it's fantastic. Where'd it's you great. go? Favourite place? What did you is, see? Uh, oh, yeah, we went to so many places. Uh, it's Hong Kong on the way over yeah. and Japan on the way back. And uh, oh, I love Japan. Yeah? It's uh, it's fantastic. It's so good. It's so well organised and the food's just brilliant. You know, it's just it's just a dream. They okay, probably go and live there tomorrow. They probably have more than one fuel line running through the country, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like I didn't go this week. <laughs> <laughs> they're organised. Japan, they're organised. OK, cool. All right, so garlic goes in there as well. Yep. And then I've just got some spring onion. So Kay. just take that off and uh, just going to roughly chop that. And that's going to give us some flavour in the marinade as well. And then we're just going to pop our chicken in there. Yep. So you can just do it in a bowl if you want um, to do it like that. Or you can blend this up in a blender. You know, whatever's easiest. OK. And then just pop your chicken in, pop it in the fridge, um, you know, for about 20 minutes. Yep. You know, a little bit longer if you want. Um, if you've got the time. Could you over marinate it? Uh, I mean, there's, there's lots of strong flavours in there. And we've right. got the soy in there and the chilli, so you probably don't want to do it. Um, you don't want to do it overnight? No, you don't want to do it. I mean, you can. Uh, it'd probably be all right, but, you know, it might just get too strong. OK, fair enough. You know? So, chicken breast, just going to take the fillets off. And this is a size what I'm sort of looking for. You know, okay, nice, nice chunks like that, so they're going to go in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just trim that up, and then I'm just going to sort of cut it down into sort of these nice sort of thick slices. Try and get them all the same, so when we when we cook it, you know, it'll all cook together. Brilliant tip, thank you. And then and then that's it. So just marinate it, 20 minutes, pop it in the fridge. Leave it out if you want, if you're only doing it for 20 minutes. If you do it a bit longer, pop it in the fridge. Just be conscious of that. And then you'll get all that flavour and colour as well into the chicken. And then we've got a griddle pan here, which we can just um, cook it off after, so you get the nice caramelisation. You can do it on the barbecue as well, it's really good. Yum. And, and the same before, like most Korean chicken, you know, they, they do it in a batter and fry it, so it's crispy, mm. which is really, really good, but this is the healthier the option. The healthier option, okay, thanks for that, because Christmas is a coming, <laughs> and I'm trying to get ready for <laughs> summer. Uh, thank you very much for that. Um, just before we go, favourite place that you, uh, favourite place that you ate? Favourite place that I ate? Uh, probably uh, Yardbird in Hong Kong, which well, is okay. just like a little uh, chicken yakitori place, which is just absolutely amazing. Okay. Good. So we'll do some of that as well. I ate bat when I was on holiday. I'll tell you more about that <laughs> soon. And we'll come back and we'll see the second part of this very soon. Thank you very much, Holly. OK, we're back in the cafe kitchen and we're doing a spicy Korean chicken using ring and tikka corn-fed chicken. What do we need to do now, Mark? Right, so we've got the chicken marinated. Yeah. So smells great too, by the way. So you're just going to take the chicken out. Yeah. Do you want me to spray? Yeah, we'll just give uh, the griddle pan a light spray. Give it the alpha one treatment. Good for you, good for your food. That's right, isn't it, Mark? <laughs> That's right, yeah. yeah. I've seen the ants, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you can put, maybe put about sort of six pieces on there. Yep. 
and then we'll just cook it sort of a medium to high heat. You want to hear that little sizzle? Yeah. And we're just going to build the uh, colour and the caramelisation around it because if it's too hot, because you've got a lot of sugar in here, it's just going to burn before the chicken's cooked. All right. So it's just about control. Okay. Do you want me to put some more on? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yep. You've got, it, you've got to do something. <laughs> um, and then we've got a pan here. And yeah. We're just going to lightly toast some sesame seeds just for a bit of garnish. But we're going to make this cucumber salad now. Okay. Good. You get cracking into that, and I'll do this. All right, and then just before the break, you were talking about bats. Yes, you tried what? bats. I was in Vanuatu, and I went to this restaurant. Uh, it was called La Houstele, and it's run by a Frenchman. And uh, one of his signature dishes is bat, the flying fox, they call it. Uh, so I decided to give it a go, and it was quite interesting, quite gamey. A real gamey taste. Kind of a cross between a rabbit and a seagull, I think. Um, <laughs> Not that I've ever eaten seagull. Yeah, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> no, God. but it was really yummy. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I've got to say hi to all the cafe viewers that I met kicking around Vanuatu. There's quite a few of you actually holidaying at the Ramada Resort. Uh, so we had a good time. It was really good. And good tomorrow time. on the show, we're cooking bats. Yes. Well, I should have got the recipe for you, actually. It was no, really it's funny, interesting. Because a couple of years ago, when I was away, I tried a uh, snake. Okay. And that was, uh, What's yeah, that, that like? Yeah, it uh, just tastes like chicken. Well, we should, just, we should just travel around the world trying exotic <laughs> foods, Mark. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Send it back here to the cafe. <laughs> right, so I've got a dressing now. So I've just got a bit of uh, rice vinegar and sugar. So we're just making that little sort of sweet and sour balance. And then I've got some cucumber. So I've just cut it into strips. And I'm just going to do some nice chunky cubes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pop that into our dressing. And then we'll give that a good season. A bit of salt. A little, little bit of pepper. pepper. And then you can just sort of, you know, stir that around, let that sort of vinegar sort of soak into the cucumber yes. and marinade, you know? The, the, the further ahead you do this, the more flavour you're going to get into it. Can the you check the chicken? Um, Have I done something wrong there? No, that's good. OK, good, just checking. Just, um, you're, I'm just cautious about what you said before about the burning of the sugars and stuff. But. Yeah, so if you... If you, if you if I... Maybe don't put as much marinade in next time. Okay, cool. Sorry. But we, live, we live and learn. So we'll just turn it down now because it is caramelising. But that's cool. Yeah, we'll get cool. some colour. We'll flip it over. You know, the chicken's not that thick, so it won't take that long to cook. Okay, Maybe great. like two or three minutes. All right, so we're going to get a little bit of chilli. We'll just chop that and just pop through that the um, cucumber. Oh, Mark's back. Out comes <laughs> the chilli. <laughs> wow. Having said that, in all the places in Asia, it wasn't it wasn't very spicy. Really? Yeah, we didn't eat. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I can just imagine you. <laughs> More chilli, please. <laughs> okay, so what are you do using now? Right, and then we've got a little bit of coriander. Yeah, cool. Because it's, it's been so long I've been on the show now, but I'm sure Jesse loves coriander, doesn't uh, he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's his favourite. <laughs> <laughs> so that just goes in there. And then a little bit of spring onion as well, so you've got a nice texture okay. in there. So it's nice and fresh, and they've got this beautiful chicken. Right, so we'll have a look at the chicken now. Yeah, just grabbing... There's another fork there. So just pop it over. So we're getting this nice colour. And then you've got that caramelisation from the honey and the sugar, you know, and it's oh, just so going to give you that nice sort of different flavour. And then you've got that sort of fermented chilli. It's really good. It's really tasty, really fast. Well, it's looking really good. Excuse my fingers. You know, if you've got all the ingredients in the cupboard, I mean, you can make this in, I mean, how long has it taken? Is this about six, seven minutes? Yeah. That's it. You know, toss that around, let that sit. That's a nice, crunchy, fresh addition to your chicken. It's really good. Serve it with some rice if you want, or in a little wrap, you know. Nice and simple. That's looking spectacular there too. You know. Good job. And there's nothing quite like those vibrant colours on the plate when it all comes together. And the smell as well. You can smell it. Mm. Fantastic. Delicious. It is going to be delicious when we try it a little later on. I can smell it from here. The spicy Korean chicken with the cucumber salad. Mark, it looks divine. Well, it is ready if you want to try it. Oh yeah. yeah. You've missed all this chilli, haven't you? I have. I've missed it. Oh yeah. yum. Yum yum.